Shireen here, welcome back to my channel. That is how you say channel in bougie. So I've started using a new skincare product as of the past three days and I'm super excited to talk to you guys about it. And that is the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Treatment Oil. So this is a vitamin A and E oil and on top of that it has a bunch of other things. So let me just read you what it does and the ingredients list real quick. By the way, Derma E did send me this in PR. So on the back here, it says, this is a pure wrinkle fighting power, a unique concentrated blend of rosehip, grapeseed, and sea buckthorn oils absorbed quickly to help soften, smooth, and nourish dry skin, while vitamins A and E help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for a healthier, younger looking complexion. This has no GMOs, it is cruelty free, 100% vegan, gluten-free, does not contain soy, and is recyclable. So it says for how to use it, you just apply it onto your clean face and neck. You can use it in the morning and evening. It is not intended for internal use. So as far as ingredients go, it has safflower seed oil, lavender oil, tocopheryl acetate, sage oil, sea buckthorn oil, rosehip oil, grapeseed oil, orange terpenes, eucalyptal, Mentha vitreous spearmint oil, camphor, beta carophyllene, citral alpha pinene, geranol acetate, retinol, polysorbate 20, bakuchiol, and citronellol. It says that also due to the use of natural ingredients, the product may change color over time. So let's get into why I even started using this in my routine in the first place. So as you guys know, if you have been watching my channel for a while, I did actually start using retinol around this time last year. So that did not go out for me, but I was open to trying another sort of retinol product. So when I saw this and I saw that it does have retinol and bakuchiol in it, I was like, ooh, cool. This sounds interesting because it's an oil. It's not like just a retinol cream. That was really cool to me. And I was like, let me give it a shot. So I tried it out and I waited like three days to see if my skin would actually react well with it. And so far there have been no issues. I haven't had any sort of reactions or anything like that. So that has been really nice. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, I do have oily, acne prone and sensitive skin. So currently I have a lot of hormonal scars and I do have some hormonal breakouts still going on, mainly around this area, that's where they are concentrated. As far as wrinkles go, I mean, when I smile, like, I have lines, but that's normal. And also, like, some forehead lines, but they're not super pronounced. So I'm more so interested in this product helping to fade out all of these acne scars that I have going on. So we'll see. I will definitely keep you guys updated, but so far, so good. So I'm still kind of developing a routine of how I want to incorporate this into my routine. I'm not really sure if I want to use it morning and night or just at night. I'm a little bit hesitant because I know that retinol is like better to be used at night. I know some people say it's totally fine to use it during the day as long as you have sunscreen on, but I don't know. We'll see, I'm kind of playing around with it. So at night, how I like to use it is I'll go in with this moisturizer right here from Derma E. This is the Skin Restore Advanced Peptides and Collagen Moisturizer. So I'll go in with this and then add like four to five drops of this all over my face and just pat it into my skin. And then in the mornings, same exact routine, but then on top of the oil, I do add in this sunscreen right here. This is the Sun Defense Mineral Oil Free Sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30 with vitamin E and green tea. So I really like this combination. I know you might be wondering why I'm not using Drunk Elephant for this. And I did on the first date and it worked fine. But then I was like, you know, maybe, maybe it'll work better if I just use all Derma E products. So I'm trying that out. Okay, so back to the ingredients. I do know that this is a reformulation of this product. When I went onto Derma E's website, I saw that the ingredients list that is currently listed on there does not match up with this ingredients list. And then when you go down to the reviews, you'll see some people talking about how the formula has changed, whether that's for better or for worse. 
I don't know because I haven't tried the older formula, but just know there has been a change. So the retinol and the bacuchiol seem to be newer additions to this formula. Personally, I like that. I'm interested in that, but I know maybe some people are not into that. One concern that I do have is that it's a see-through packaging. And I know that with retinol sort of products, they shouldn't really be exposed to the sun so or air for that matter so that is something that has me a little bit concerned but maybe since it's in an oil blend it's okay i don't know <laughs> all i know is that i'm going to be storing this where it's not going to be exposed to sunlight so hopefully all goes well as far as the oil itself goes it has a bit of a I want to say menthol -y sort of scent, like it's very just menthol -y. I don't know, it's it's definitely noticeable, it's not my preferred scent, I don't love it, but I'm not opposed to it. When I put it onto my skin, the scent goes away, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't linger and you're not going to be smelling like menthol all day, so just know it does have a scent. But knowing that it is natural ingredients and all of that, I'm okay with that, you know? Like, I'd rather it have a natural scent than a bunch of added fragrances. So currently it is day four of me using this anti-wrinkle oil. Obviously that is way too early to see results, but I will definitely keep you guys updated and be back with weekly check-ins. See you in a week. Side note, if any of you have tried the older formulation, comment down below and let me know how your experience with that was. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And what do you think about this new one? I'm so interested to hear what you guys think. Okay, it has officially been two weeks of using this anti-wrinkle treatment oil and my skin has been going through it. Like, it's been bad this past week. So I've been breaking out like crazy. Well, for me, it's been crazy because it's not where I typically break out and it's way more deeper and more painful. Like I literally can't even put my head on the pillow comfortably because it hurts so bad from the active breakouts. So right now I have this one on my cheek, this one that is about to come to a head on my chin, one on my lip. It's actually like three conjoined into one massive big pimple. It's been like a nightmare for me. And then there's one underneath my chin somewhere here as well. But the weirdest part is that typically when I break out hormonally or just in general, it's been on this side of my face. This time it's on this side and like the whole cheek thing is not a normal spot for me to break out anymore. So I'm like, okay, is this actually hormonal or is it a result of the retinol and bacuchiol just bringing everything to the surface, like all the gunk underneath my skin? I truly don't know. Or maybe it's a combination of both. Either way, it hasn't been fun times around here because it's like all I see. You know when you break out, you just hyper-focus on them? That has been me. That's all I've been thinking about the past week, so there's that. But thankfully, hopefully, it will get better. I'm just so thankful for concealer at this moment because without the Milk Makeup Flux Concealer, I don't know what I'd be doing. Now, as far as my routine goes with this, I have been switching it up here and there, and by that I mean not using this some nights. So when these breakouts did start appearing, I was like, okay, let me go back to my trusty drunk elephant because I know that TLC Free Boost is really helpful for keeping my skin clear and just preventing breakouts. So I have my little bag here because I've also been traveling on the weekends so I haven't been home and I've just been taking like my tried and true products with me on travel. Another reason I'm hesitant to take this with me on travel is because it's like a glass bottle and so is the moisturizer so I'm like oh I don't want it to break so I haven't risked taking it with me yet. I mean otherwise I would. Every now and then like like every other night or so, or like maybe like two nights in a row, it just truly depends. I'll use these, so I'll go with TLC Free and Boost, and then Virgin Marula, just like two to three drops all over my face. And then in the mornings, what I like to do is mix. Please hold. This is my routine. So I start off with taking a few little drops of D-Bronzy, some Lala, 
like three drops of marula and then some umbra. This is just their sunscreen. I mix all of these together and apply it to my face. And then I also started using this nourishing lip polish. I've loved this, but just forgot about it because I started using Vaseline, which takes me back to another thing. So I'm thinking <laughs> this lip pimple might actually be from using Vaseline and a combination of me just haphazardly going like this like i'm not going to do because i don't want to touch my lips anymore but just kind of pressing my fingers against my lips just resting them there while i'm on the computer it's just such a second nature habit i don't even realize it but then i catch myself and i'm like Ooh, stop <laughs> so i switched over to this pixie one so far it's been fine for keeping my lips hydrated but we'll see so that is my week two update I mean, honestly, I do love this oil. Like, it hasn't been irritating in any way, so that's been good. And I know with retinol, you have to go through this phase where it gets worse before it gets better, so I'm just sticking it out, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, one more thing before I go. You know how I was, like, not really into the scent? It's actually grown on me, and I think it's more like spearminty now that I think about it. Not so much mentholy, but just spearminty. I dig it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week for the three-week skin update. You get a three-week skin update, and you get a three-week skin update. Can you tell my skin's doing a lot better? Clearly, I'm in a lot better of a mood than I was last week. And wow, what a change in my skin in just the past week. So this past week, I have been using only the Derma E product, none of Junk Elephant. So again, just to reiterate, that is the anti wrinkle treatment oil, the moisturizer and the sunscreen that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video. That's it. And of course the cleanser, like the drunk elephant jelly cleanser. But like skincare wise on my face, you know what I mean? Just Derma E, that's all I've been using. Also their under eye cream, which I really, really love. Their hydrating one. It's amazing. Anyways, my skin has been doing so much better. The acne that was there before, all of those deep hormonal ones, I did find out, yes, it was indeed hormonal, of course. They are all gone, thank the lord, <laughs> and all of the spots that they have left, not only are they less dark than usual, but I truly see them healing quicker than usual. Like, I'm such a believer in this anti-wrinkle treatment oil because I see it working on my face and I'm so here for it. I have been loving it this past week. Like. Mm, I'm just so happy. So that's that's really all I've got update wise Everything's a lot better and I'm super stoked to keep using it. Now, I do want to mention I just got in a brand new product from Drunk Elephant and that is their F-Bomb Which let me just grab that real quick This right here if you haven't seen my unboxing for that click up here and check it out It's a super cool product. So I'm actually gonna start incorporating this into my routine I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But it's like a nighttime overnight mask. And okay, here's the thing. The anti-wrinkle treatment oil does a really great job of keeping my skin hydrated and glowy, which I really love. Like, I truly don't even need like anything in addition to that once I layer on top of moisturizer. So is this kind of redundant to put on top of that? Maybe, <laughs> probably. Like, I wake up and my skin is still fine with the anti-wrinkle treatment oil, like it's not dried out or anything like that. But I am super excited to try this out, so we'll see how it goes. Just want to let you know, so you get like a little taste of next week before next week, even though you're just about to see it right now. It has officially been one month of me using the anti-wrinkle treatment oil, and to say that I am obsessed is an understatement. I love this product so much. Words cannot even describe. I could sit here and talk about this all day. As I previously mentioned, I really love that it's been helping to speed up the healing process of my acne scars, but I also really love how glowy it leaves my skin and just nourished and just so full of life, radiance, all those words. Like, it just ugh, makes me so happy. I really love the whole feel of it. It's very lightweight, quick absorbing, and it's not greasy. Now, disclaimer, since this is an oil, you can go overboard with this 
and leave your face looking greasy. So I did actually have to dial down how much I was using this because at some point it did become a little bit too greasy. So now I'm using three to four drops for my whole face and that is perfect for me. So I'll do one drop per cheek, one drop for my forehead, and then one evenly dispersed across my nose, upper lip and chin. And that's just so perfect for me. I think what really makes this product so amazing is the blend of all of the different sorts of oils and ingredients in here. So like the rosehip oil, for instance, I know is really great for targeting hyperpigmentation and fading those acne scars. In addition to, you know, the retinol, bakuchi oil, like all of that, it's just a really power packed blend of oils. It's so good. It's truly amazing how nourishing this is. I really don't feel like I need anything on top of this for extra hydration because it's just that hydrating, that good. I know I mentioned trying out F-Bomb on top of this, so I did that. And let's just say it did not go how I thought it would go. That's all I gotta say. You can watch that video, see how it went. I'll leave a little link up here. It might not be live at the time this video goes live, but it will be live soon, so keep an eye out for that. As you can see, I still do obviously have some scarring on my face, but I mean, in a month, will that go away? No, <laughs> these things take time. And I can see them healing a lot quicker than they usually do, so I am very much, very much a believer that I am in good hands with this product. The whole routine that I've had with this, with the moisturizer and the sunscreen has been super effective and I love how quick and easy of a routine it is. It's not like this whole elaborate 10 step routine, like no, it's quick, it's easy, it gets me out the door, I don't have to spend so much time getting ready in the mornings, like I really love it. I could truly sit here and talk about this all day, but my camera battery will die, you get the point, and I just... I don't think we need to talk about this anymore. It's great. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. If you're interested in this, check it out. I think you will love it. I hope everyone loves this. I cannot rave about this enough. So that is it for me and my beautiful skin. If you liked this video and found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.